Hello, welcome back to Simple or Difficult. In this video, we are going to be discussing the denoisers in Corona Renderer. Which denoising option you should use for your renders and um, how each of them works so you can start using them in your renders as they can dramatically cut down the amount of time and passes you need to get a clean render. So to turn on the denoiser in your 3ds Max, simply head over to the render settings okay, and then go over to scene you will see the noise are here so from here you can now be able to select anyone you want you can see we have five options here we're going to be discussing all five options how they work and when you should use them all right so if this is what you want to you know things you like to see stick around don't go anywhere only firefly removal this is recommended when you don't want to denoise your entire render but then you have fireflies in your renders you want to remove okay so what are fireflies even these are very bright pixels in your image this can occur when a really intense light reflects off of a very reflective surface in your render okay what corona does with this denoiser this only firefly removal denoiser is mix the very bright pixel with the ones surrounding it that are not so bright okay all right so this denoiser kicks in only when the render is complete and it happens very fast you notice we still have noise in this render but then to see what the firefly does you can turn the denoise amount all the way up and then toggle it on and off Okay, that way you get to see the effect all right so let's go to the next one the next one is the nvidia gpu ai okay this is very useful for fast noise free preview during rendering Okay, this denoising process uses your nvidia graphics card artificial intelligence to determine how your image would look like without noise okay talk about the biased rendering qualities of corona and all was not here the denoising happens in real time so the denoise amount can be adjusted while the image is rendering to see what it is actually doing turn it all the way up like we did before and then toggle it on and off but then when it is high you'd realize that there are these splotchy patches which makes it not ideal for final renders but then it can give us a great idea of how the final render is going to look like when we are done all right so this denoiser can also be used during interactive rendering and it doesn't matter which denoiser you have selected in the denoising mode as it is controlled over here in the performance tab and then you can see the fast preview denoise during render all right you can turn it on and off from there. But then on the downside, when it is on, you can't edit the amount in the frame buffer. Like as the interactive render is going on, you can actually adjust it, you know, there in the frame buffer. All right, so the next one is the Intel CPU AI. Okay, the Intel CPU AI denoises only when the render ends, like the only Firefly removal that we've talked about so far, or the, in the Corona high quality, which you are yet to talk about. Okay, it works similarly to the NVIDIA's GPU AI, as it also uses AI to determine how the render would look without, without noise. Only this time, it is using your CPU rather than your GPU. In spite the name, the Intel CPU AI runs on any CPU, not just the one from Intel. And this is unlike the NVIDIA GPU AI, where it does require the NVIDIA hardware. You have to have the NVIDIA hardware. If not, it's not going to work. Okay? It is not as fast as the NVIDIA AI, but it is faster than the Corona high quality. All right, so let's we have been talking referring to this corona high quality let's talk about it now okay the corona high quality this provides the best denoising quality you know when it comes to corona denoisers this is your go-to denoiser when you are going for the final image rendering or you want to do a flicker free 
animations. This is the only denoiser that can work with the recommended high quality filtering option you can see the high quality filtering option in the system all right when you go over to the system you're going to find it there and then you come down to the image filter you're going to see the yeah other denoisers will default to the tent the tent this one here for filtering okay when you select the corona high quality you can now assess the radius as well as the amount and the radius controls the size of the blurring effect lowering it can strengthen details in your render but it will also lower the denoising effect unlike the amount these settings cannot be changed after the image is rendered now here's my opinion always keep it at the default as it is in my experience works really well and gives a decent amount of denoising effect and quality the corona high quality requires at least two passes for it to apply so if you only did initial pass and yeah, the second one and you stop your render it may not it will not that it may not it will not apply okay and also when you click cancel it is going to cancel it cancel both the denoising and the rendering but if you click on the stop in your frame buffer it is going to now it is going to kick start the denoising effect which will now take place And as usual, to see the effect, take it to the highest, you will see a completely denoised image, but at the expense of detail. All right, you can toggle off and on the effect to see what it has done for you. All right, so that's that for the Corona high quality denoiser. And then let's talk about the gather data for later. As the name suggests, this allows you to process the denoising in Corona Image Editor by, by gathering some certain information during the render. So using the gather data for later will save you some memory used during the render. Okay, This is useful when you are running out of memory in a scene with lots of render elements that needs denoising. Okay? Here you save out the file a bit differently. You save it as CXR. Okay, how you do that is you click on the save button and then you hold it and then you slide down to the CSR and then this dialog box comes out. You name it and you put it in the folder where you want it to be in your system or your, your workstation and then you save it. Then in the Corona Image Editor, open that, CS, that same CSR file that you just saved now. Open it and then you can now denoise the image. Now, apart from saving you some memory, here is another benefit you can get from this, you know, gather data for later, okay? We can change the radius amount in here, whereas in the Corona High Quality Denoiser, we can't do that once the image has been rendered. If you can remember, we discussed that when we talked about Corona High Quality, all right? We, we had to set the radius before rendering because after you have rendered, you cannot be able to adjust the radius anymore. All right, so another very important feature is that if you use either of the AI features, and of course, you saved out the CSR file format, okay? Just like we I just showed you, like, right now. You can load them in here and further work on the denoisers. Okay, now, which denoiser should you use? Which denoising option should you use? The denoising option to use should depend on your scene and your hardware. But in general, for preview rendering purposes, the NVIDIA GPU AI will work the fastest. And let's not forget also, it works with interactive rendering as well. But then, it requires the NVIDIA hardware. So if you are not using NVIDIA graphics card, then the Intel CPU AI will suffice as it does not require you must have the Intel CPU. So it should work regardless of the CPU you are using. But when rendering final images, Corona High Quality gives us the best render quality. And I recommend you use this one, this Corona High Quality Denoiser. I would recommend you use it most of the time. Okay, then gather data for later allows you to save some memories while rendering and be able to edit the denoising later in the Corona Image Editor. Okay, and then you can also tweak the radius, which you cannot do using the Corona High Quality. Now, let's not forget the only Firefly Remover, which as the name suggests, removes Firefly from your images. 
all right so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a like and if you're new to this channel this is the first video you're watching on this channel please consider subscribing not only subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future contents all right thank you very much for watching this video i'll see you in the next one